Okay, so we're going to have a, a quick look at some hill cycling, and this is a hill cycling or a game cycling. We're just going to start off with a, an original message. So in our case, we're going to start off with the message help, and we want to be able to encipher this into something that's not readable by you know, somebody who doesn't have the, the knowledge of how the mes message should be translated. So with hill two ciphering, what we do is we break the message up into couples. So every two letters is assigned together. And then each of the letters of the couple is assigned its numerical position in the alphabet. So if it was letter A, for example, that would be assigned position one. And in the case of letter H, it's going to be assigned the letter eight, or sorry, number eight. Um, so if we were to rewrite this message in terms of what it looks like in its alphabetic positions, it would be eight, five, 12, and 16. So the next thing we need to do is we need to know what our cipher key is. Um, this is something that's provided in question or in um, something we've created ourselves. So in the case of our example here, we're going to have 7713. So uh, in order to encipher anything using hill ciphers, what we simply do is a little bit of matrix multiplication. And um, very, very simple. We just get the cipher key. Seven, seven, and nine. And you recall earlier on that I said our message, every character, or all the characters are broken up into couples. So we simply take the first couple, that's the numerical equivalent, of course, and then we perform a matrix multiplication on those two. So seven times eight is seven times five. Um, 18 here is fine, uh, but 91 creates a bit of a problem for us because, as we know, there are only 26 characters in the alphabet, so 91 doesn't correspond to a letter. So in order to make this something that we can translate into letters again, we need to perform some modular arithmetic on it, and the base that we use here is mod 26, 26 characters in our alphabet. So when 91 is divided by mod 26, we get a result of 13. And as I said, the 18 is fine because it's less than 26 anyway. We don't need to do anything here. So, giving that its alphabetical equivalence, we come up with the couple MR. We then proceed to do the next couple that we have. Twelve and sixteen then it's we're gonna have seven times twelve times eighty-four plus seven times sixteen times one hundred and twenty. And one times three is two times sixteen. So that gives us one hundred twenty and ninety-six. Let's go back to that. Again, these numbers are, are greater than 26, so we've got a problem here. So we need to perform a modulus arithmetic on that. And we end up with scores, or results, I should say, of 14 and 18. Which, when you convert it to our alphabetical equivalent, so MR and MR. So that's ciphering, and that gives us our new message that nobody can read it, or nobody can read. Um, it's our cipher text. So as you can see, MRNR comes through. Um, nobody really knows what that means. Um, well, not, not without a lot of effort anyway can we break the cipher and figure out what it means. Okay. So our original message is protected.